from there on Insiders. Now, if you move into a new apartment, what right do you have to expect that building will be built safely? That's the question many Australians are asking themselves after cracks were discovered in a Sydney residential high-rise on Friday, causing the evacuation of over 100 people. Chris Neerham is the national president of the Building Designers Association. He says that laziness and the lack of accountability are behind the dodgy developments. We need reforms. We need that the building industry has been too lazy over too many years to be able to, you know, have these stringent processes in place of, you know, of, of accountability. It's been a total lack of accountability. There's many practitioners out there that don't even require PI insurance to, to practice. And, this, and part of these reforms, implementing the Shergold Weir Report, mm -hmm. the uh, 24 recommendations, will, will make massive changes in the industry. And this is national. This is not just a state-based issue. People put the blame on the certifier, but a certifier really is certifying the documentation. They're, they're, they're basically going through the process to ensure that all the documentation you have from the engineers and everything is ticked so off. They are not a person that can go there and look at something and say, that's, that's built wrong. Yes, they, they might have some knowledge, but they're, they're not going, they can't be the ones to blame for that. So it, they're relying on all of the other correct. processes that so have they're, they're relying on, on the certificate from the engineer. You know, and so the engineer ticks a box, then you've got the waterproofing, and you can see that in New South Wales it's a debacle with the waterproofing, but yet these waterproof, we still get waterproofing ticked off. So this, this needs to, we need to have independent people looking at the projects and not just um, two or three little processes along the way. I believe that every trade should be checked on completion and tick the box and move on. So everyone is then accountable for their actions. Iran says it'll continue scaling back its compliance with its nuclear deal commitment.